Hi everyone, welcome back. So, thanks for watching. And um, tonight I wanted to talk to you and tell you a little bit of a story. Something for me at least quite funny happened recently that has to do with with uh, with me getting into to cigar smoking. So as I've been mentioning in other videos, that me growing up as a young teenager, even before I even was a teenager, I was always a little bit interested interested in smoking, and when when all the people were smoking, I was sort of drawn to it. I had to look at it. I'd like to touch cigarette cigarettes and it was something that kind of was hmm it had kind of a hook on me. And um this also sadly led to me at a very young age, at thirteen, starting to smoke a lot of cigarettes. And I I was hooked on that for about 10 years until I finally, being a young adult, <coughs> made the decision that I actually didn't want to be a smoker. It also has to do with, with caution and health and so on. Anyways, way before I even started smoking cigarettes, we had uh, some friends that we always spent New Year's with and celebrated New Year's Eve with. We were... Uh, having a blast. It was my the friends of my parents, they also had two sons and they were the same age as me and my bigger brother so we were just matching in age and we always liked to play and have a, had a great time and New Year's Eve was something that I have been looking forward to the whole year. I got to, to buy uh, some fireworks and this just... I was geeking out on fireworks uh, when I was like 10, 11, 12. It, it was like uh yeah i was really interested in that stuff and we were up all night having a great time and uh firing off a lot of fireworks so and this time was around the year 2000 and me and my friend anders we wanted to to do something good for our, both of our, our fathers and uh, so we wanted to surprise them on New Year's Eve at 12 o'clock at midnight with a cigar and we were only like 12 years old so we took some of the money that we have saved up we went down to a tobacco shop and we spoke to the lady down there that we wanted to buy a cigar for our fathers and uh, we showed how much money we had and we we said that we wanted the best cigar that that she had for the money that we that we had and we knew nothing about it. So um we did this for a few years and I'm from, from a complete smokeless home. No one in my family smoked and smoking at all was completely prohibited. It was nothing for us at all. And this is way before I even started smoking. I was not, as I mentioned, I was like 10 years old or something. And uh, so the first time we did this, we had some family over and these friends and each of the, the dads there got this, this, this uh, cigar at, at midnight and everyone thought it was, it was funny and ha ha ha. And, and the first time, the first year we did it, they uh, felt obligated to, of course, light the cigar. So they tried and they didn't even have a cutter or how should they do it? But they had a blast doing this. And it was very funny that their small sons had, had been bought buying something for, for them. So, yeah, it was quite an event. So this got to be quite a tradition. But the second year that we did it, my, my mom said, no, when we got the, the cigars out at 12 o'clock, no, you're not going to be smoking these inside because we're not smoking indoors. It's, it, it smells horrible and blah, blah, blah. So it was kind of a... <laughs> uh, how to say you know we've, we've been looking forward to this moment giving these cigars to our dads and, and then they didn't get to smoke them so I, there was quite an anti-climax I, I guess you could say 
Mm, bear with me, this story to be quite long, but this has to do with why I'm smoking a cigar today. I'll get to that. So, the same week, 23 years later, like 14 days ago, when I sort of got in my mind that I one day just thought, hey, wait, wait, let's, let me try a cigar. The same week as that just popped into my head, I went down to buy the, the very expensive cigar that I smoked with you guys on the first video I made about cigar smoking. Later that weekend, we visited my parents. And I was like going through some drawers in the living room. I don't know why, searching for some old pictures, I guess. Sometimes it's very funny to seek out old stuff in your parents' home, in your old childhood home. And I came across an old box of chocolates that did not have chocolates in them. I opened it up and what I found was a very old cigar wrapped in cellophane. In some kitchen cellophane. And I said, Dad, I think I found this cigar that I gave to you 23 years ago on New Year's. And he said, really? Yeah, I, it must have been. And he said, yeah, of course. I, I know I, I put it down this drawer, but I thought uh, mom threw it away years ago. And during this week, I've been doing a lot of research about cigars. And I paid attention to the wrapper around the cigar and I immediately knew what cigar it was because doing a little bit of cigar research you'll come across this wrapper a lot of times because in fact it was a Cohiba Cuban cigar and this I won't be reading about because I didn't want to spend the money for a real Cuban Cohiba cigar yet I'm just trying to learn this stuff and like taking small steps eventually of course I'll be trying a Cuban Cohiba cigar but that's not for me right now it was just this funny coincidence that the same week in my whole life that I actually pick up cigar smoking, starting to research it. It's like I'm going back to this point, like there's some connection between when I gave my father this cigar 20, 23 years ago, and then I just all, all of a sudden have it in my hand. I don't know if it, any of this makes sense, but it, it was just a very funny experience for me. Like, it felt like me picking up this cigar thing was sort of meant to be, I don't know how. It made sense for me at least. So, I don't know what Cohiba it was, but it was wrapped in cellophane and in fact it's just brought me back to, to my childhood buying the cigar even though I had no clue that it was a Cohiba, what, was a, what a Cohiba was. But what I know is that it had had to be very expensive also back then. So that was a small story. Sometimes there are small things in your life where you stop up and think, is there some weird connection between how things are playing out? I don't know. And I'm sitting here with its Cuban tobacco in this machine rolled cigar, but it's in fact not a Cohiba, it's not even a hand rolled cigar. But I'm just trying to take small steps learning as I go. Eventually I will be smoking some very expensive cigars, but I'm in no rush. I don't want to quote unquote waste a lot of money buying very expensive cigars when my taste palette is not really evolved. So. But as you can see, even this cigar smokes perfectly fine. Tastes amazing, quality tobacco, but yeah. I guess in a few years, if I'm still smoking these sticks, as some people call them, hmm, I might be laughing at the sort of shit cigars I'm smoking right now, but I actually quite enjoy this. 
So, thanks for listening to my long story here about when I first bought a cigar 23 years ago that exists today. And I really wanted to smoke that cigar, but I thought I'll probably get to that cigar one day when my father is not here anymore. There'll be a time for that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.